Oh, hello, fellow Vehicle Sim fans. Welcome back to Korovac Vehicle Sims. I'm Marcus Korovac. Today, we'll be starting a brand new series, the September Sidewinder Spaceship School in the Starter Systems, brought to you by Alliteration. I've created a new account and just received my pilot's license. I'm currently in the Capital System for the Permit Locked Pilots Federation District. Getting ready to set out on the first solo flight for my brand new ship, a Vulcan DeLacy Sidewinder Mark I, dubbed the Apprentice. This little ship is going to be my home for the next month while I explore the permit locked starter systems. I could have a new ship in less than an hour, and I could leave the starter systems in about three minutes if I wanted to, but I don't want to. In this series, we're going to take it slow, dig right in to where we are and what we are doing. I've played Elite before, so I know what I'm doing, but we are going to start from basics and assume nothing, follow me the prompts as they come up. Let's get started. Alright, here we are in the cockpit of our uh, brand new starter ship. It's been given to us by the Pilots Federation as part of the, the graduation for finishing our pilot school and uh, becoming an official commander. So first thing we're going to do is check our messages. We've got two messages up in the top corner. So we've got Pilots Federation District Permit Issued. Hello, Commander Marcus Korvac. The Pilots Federation has issued you the Pilots Federation District Permit. This permit dis grants you access to the Pilots Federation space, consisting of training systems to ensure you will be among commanders of a similar experience level. While you are picking up the basics, you will be granted a significant discount on any insurance rebuy payouts needed in the event of ship loss. This will last until you obtain a re uh, increase in any Pilots Federation rank. In the time your training opportunities here will be completed, then you will be uh, you will feel confident enough to explore the galaxy. The Pilots Federation District Permit will then be removed, along with access to these systems, once you have docked at a starport outside of this zone. Good luck and fly safe, Commander. That's the first one. Second one. Beginning your journey. Greetings, Commander. On behalf of Pilots Federation Administration, we'd like to offer you 10,000 credits towards your new career as a commander. You'll be required to complete a hyperspace jump to the Matet system and dock at uh, Kolho Station. Welcome to the Galaxy Commander. So basically, you just need to make one jump to the next station in the next system. And we'll get paid 10 times what we currently have as a <laughs> starter pocket change. Perfect. So, what we're going to do is go over here. Scroll down, and there's the pet, seven light years away. Alright, so now we've got a waypoint locked there. This panel over here is for all the things outside of our ship. So our navigation, our transaction, and all of our contacts. There's an equal panel over on the other side for all the stuff inside of our ship. And before we head out, there is one thing I want to do. Go into Starbucks Services. Tweak my ship slightly in terms of just what it looks like, but I have not made any changes to how it's outfitted. So right now, it is just pure stock configuration. Tilly mounts, core internal, optional internal. So... We are not going to be landing on any planets and exploring, so we can actually take this out and store it along with the scarab inside of it, which will free up most of the internal space in our ship. Our ship is extremely tiny and very cramped. Uh, down here at the bottom, we've got the planetary approach suite, which lets us land on planets. We've got the advanced docking computer, which lets us undock and dock uh, automatically. Here we've got the Super Cruise Assist, which lets us uh, does a couple things which you'll see in just a moment. And then we've got one little cargo uh, rack with one unit um, in size, which holds two tons of cargo. A couple of internal slots that are empty now. 
So what we can do is we can actually drastically increase the amount of cargo we can carry around. And I say drastically increase, but it's still going to be a tiny joke ship, even if we uh, fit it out. So let's go for cargo racks. They are a thousand credits, which is literally all the money that we have. Just to add one more cargo rack. And then for a size 2, same thing, 1,000 for the little uh, one that takes up one slot and more than I have for the big one. So, really comes down to, we are just going to add the little one because that's all we can do. That gets us a bit more cargo space. Alright. I'm just going to check the mission board, because you always want to check the mission board. We are going to Matet. We just want to see if there's anything that we need to do at Matet. So we can actually do that. There's a cargo space. in return for units of grain. Fortunately, because we're going to an agricultural system, we will get some grain. So I'm just going to accept that. Radiant cobalt. I think I took the wrong one. This will pay slightly more than the one I did take. Oh, no, this will just pay more after all. It's all good. Alright. So we've got a cargo. We've got something for the return trip as well. We've got a couple missions to do. Alright, we're all ready to go. So we're just going to do an auto launch. This is part of... Oh, on. Pitch up. Pitch down. All right. All left. Toggle flight controls. And back again. Throttle. Throttle. One. Throttle down. And your test. Weapons deploy test. Target and primary fire. There we go. Pre flight check is done. Only does that the very first time you ever dock. Can actually turn it on to do it every time, but it'd be kind of tedious to do. It's just to make sure you know what your controls are. Right. So we are taking off. And by we, I mean actually our ship is taking off by itself because we have auto launch on. And we got a new message updating us on what to do next. Excellent. The assisted launch procedure should take you safely outside of the starport in a few minutes. When you're outside, take over control of your ship and keep going. The starport's size will mass lock you, preventing a frame shift jump until you've reached a safe distance. Perfectly fine. Okay. So we are automatically launching. We are in a station that is in the middle of the rings of this planet. It is very beautiful. 
get close to the sun. So they're brightly lit up. When you see the mass locked light turn off in the bottom right, I've got nothing to scan, guys. <laughs> it's all good. In the bottom right of your cockpit, your frame shift drive is no longer blocked by ne large nearby objects. Once you're good and go, line up with your destination and make the leap. I'll see you in the tent, Commander. Alright, so we're no longer mass locked down the bottom corner. A little radar over just to the left of the big radar it will show us where we're going. So we're going to point over this way. You can see right there. Tent. Now jumping through which space towards the next system, which you can see is a little it's like yellowish star right in the very center, which we're heading straight towards. And when we come out, our hyperspace assist will actually dethrottle us down to zero, which is nice. All right, so next we're going to go over to our panel over here, find the station. There it is. And you can lock the destination. You can also use Super Cruise Assist because you know, we're still still trying to figure out this stuff. You know, sort of. Alright, there's the station. Throttle up to Blue Zone. And Super Cruise Assist will take us right in. I'll be read our email. Congratulations, you made the Matet. Next step is the mission is to reach the starport that's there. The navigation tab on the left side interface uh, panel shows you each stellar object your ship can detect or has previously uh, been recorded in the system. Use it to locate and lock Colo Station as your next destination. Your ship will let you know how to activate Super Cruise Assist, initiating a new journey at many, many times the speed of flight towards your chosen destination. And a word of caution when using Super Cruise Assist, you'll still need to avoid any planets that get in your way. Make sure you keep an eye out for anything you wouldn't want to hit at 25 times the speed of light. Okay. When you drop out of Super Cruise at Colo Station, you'll be able to request docking permission from the Contacts tab in the left side interface panel. That should activate your ship's docking module and let, you, uh, guide it, uh, and let it guide you safely into your assigned pad. Alright, so we're coming along in Super Cruise Assist, so I don't actually need to keep too close an eye on this. Towards Colo Station. Which is orbiting the Tet 3 over here, the third planet out. Bright little dots that are floating around around us are other ships also in Super Cruise. So you can see the, the nearby traffic. So there's somebody who's directly ahead of us, presumably on the same course that we are on. Yep, we're catching them up. Oh, goodness. There you go. So they're out flying around on some other mission. And we're getting closer and closer to close station. There we are. It has automatically dropped us out. And there we go. Could just use the automatic docking right away, but I have seen it bump into habitation rings when you start on the wrong side of a hab ring before, so I'm just going to fly around towards the front of the station first. This is an agricultural station you can see here in the rings going around it. It's all green, 
it's capturing the sunlight of the system and growing all kinds of good food. This is the only agricultural system in the uh, uh, Pilots Federation District. This is where all their food comes from. While we're here, we're also going to pick up some wheat to bring back home. And anything else that looks good. Because again, this is where all the food comes from. So anywhere we go from here, we'll want the food that's here. It's the start of a very basic series of uh, trades that we can do back and forth. Systems are extremely specialized in this game. So the agricultural systems have all the food. Other systems will have none of the food. And rely entirely on trade to uh, uh, slow down for auto dock. Here we go. And just for fun, it plays Blue Danube while we dock, which is just lovely. Hopefully you get the reference, I'm not going to explain it at this point. <laughs> and it's going to find landing pad 44, where we're supposed to be landing, which is there in front of us, it's slightly to the side. And hopefully not crash into this greenhouse that's coming up right in front of us. No, we're going to be fine. And that's it. Just like that. We have flown to another star system, out to the third planet, found the station orbiting it, and docked at the station. certain amount of hand-holding that uh, went with that whole process. But again, this is our first trip ever. On this character, at least. So it does give us a sort of easy thing to do, and a lot of uh, help along the way. Alright, so as always, straight to the mission board. Super useful place to be. We get a beginning of your journey mission that we've just started. Let's just fly to the next system. We get 10,000 credits and some reputation with the Pilots Federation Administration. There we go. They like us slightly more. And we also have our mission for deliver three units of agri-medicines. So we're going to go up to here, deliver three items, and complete. 24,000 credits. And again, they like us just a little bit more. Pretty soon, we're going to go from neutral with the superpower, specifically the Pirates Federation. And they already like us uh, in terms of our reputation. We've tripped over into Cordial, the, you know, <laughs> the slightly, slightly liking you, thinking you're useful, because I've done a couple of small things for them. All right. So we've got a couple of emails from that, beginning your journey. Congratulations, Commander. The total of 10,000 credits has been successfully added to your credit balance. On behalf of the Pilots Federation Administration, we would like to commend you on achieving your uh, Commander license. Remember that the Pilot's Handbook, tutorials of various uh, difficulties, and additional challenges can all be accessed through the Home tab on the right side interface panel. Good luck out there, Commander Martin Skorovac. Pirates Federation is an extremely nice organization to be part of. They just want there to be lots and lots of successful independent pilots. It's pretty much their only motivating factor for doing what they do. Oh, and look at this. By doing just those two simple missions, we have earned the first rank for our trade uh, rank. And going from penniless to mostly penniless. This means that we are also now going to get warned about that thing that they mentioned here um, where they uh, say that we will get uh, an opportunity to leave once we've achieved one rank in anything and 
the first rank in anything is extremely easy to do. We have sort of accidentally done that. All right. So what we're going to do now, take these two courier jobs to draw me where we're going back to. So what is to to me prospect like that. Second one to the same place. We'll take that. Courier missions are basically just data. They don't take up any inventory space, which is fantastic because, again, we have very, very little inventory space right now. So I return to units of agro medicines. Yeah, we can do that. So I return four units of basic medicines. We can do that, but we don't have enough cargo space for both. But we just got paid. And go back to optional internal. So we've already got our 1E and our 1E and these two 1 slots. And uh, we can actually add a 2 slot. The other thing that we could potentially do, let's quickly see if there is a shield. Now, sometimes you can fit a slightly smaller shield, which will give you a bit more space. So basically, you can shove a shield into your 1 slot. And then have an empty two slot. That's not going to happen on this particular stop, though. So we're just going to go with cargo racks. Now, since we got paid, we have plenty of money for a TE cargo rack. And we'll just buy and fit it to the empty slot. So now we have a total of eight tons of potential cargo space. So, we're going to go back to the mission board here. What things are... Oh, <laughs> this one the galaxy is our graduation mission. And it's here. So, let's just return two agri-medicines and four basic medicines. We already have one for grain. So, we're going to bring back some grain. Miners, mining ones, six units of mineral oil, six units of mineral oil, six units of mineral oil, we're not mass curing, we're not liberating, we're not mass curing. Yeah, we're not going to be. Here's an example of a mission where you have to be friendly, so you have to do substantially more missions for them before we go from cordial to friendly so that's not available right now but just shows you the possibilities down the road so what we need to do is return four. we're just going to take these two that's going to be six units of cargo we've got eight units of cargo so we can definitely do both So next up, we need to buy four units of grain and take that back to Moss and Dock, where we just came from. And we've got two courier jobs, both for Demiri Prospect. So let's go back. We're going to go to the Commodities Board. We're in an agricultural system. We need grain. There's grain. You can get the little marker here now. It's this little globe uh, icon. And also over in the side uh, panel over on the right, active mission requires this commodity, total units needed for. So this has gotten a lot nicer <laughs> since I last did a bunch of trade missions once upon a time. Um, it gives you a much better idea of what is being produced where you are, what's being required where you are, what can go where. All these things you could use, you used to be able to figure out, but it did take a little bit of uh, research and, and multiple screens to figure it out. And in this one, it just lets us know very helpfully in the blue text, we need four. So four, five. There we go. Now we've got what we need for that. We're going to go over here to the side. We're going to go to compare. We're going to do suggested markets. We look for Mossad Dock and Demiri Prospect which are both in the same system, both high taxes have uh, similar things, and they both have mission objectives next to them because I've got missions already. So it lets you know 
that you're going to be going there anyways so you can easily use that as a place to compare so we're looking for things that uh, we can take four units of to where we're going and we're specifically looking at profit if sold so this last bar so we got 800 credits here 550 for grain but we'll get paid better than that 2680 is the best so tobacco yeah the best we found so far is with 834 tobacco so we're gonna buy four more units of tobacco cargo hold at maximum capacity and i mean tobacco is not exactly the best thing ever kids don't smoke but we're getting paid for it all right so next up we just need to set our objectives so we're back to navigation we're going to go down this is sort of by distance so anything in this system is going to be from here on up and then these are all the other systems nearby here's draw me it's blue because we have a mission objective there so our destination all right so we've got our cargo we've got our mission top of our fuel but we're good for fuel one of the things I want to get actually is a fuel scoop so we don't have to pay for fuel but the hydrogen is extremely cheap it's literally 24 credits we just made 10,000 credits we can buy an enormous amount of fuel before it really becomes an issue um, because fuel is almost an afterthought unless you're out of fuel in which case it's the most important thing in the entire world but we're not at that situation yet we've got plenty if you look down the bottom right hand corner you can actually see our projected jump shows as the blue bars so you can see that uh, the fuel is across the bottom there and it's suggesting that once we do this jump we're going to use you know, one whole um, bar and most of another bar of the of the bars we have so we have plenty to make this trip you know forward and back several times before we have to worry about fuel right we're going to do auto launch it's going to do everything for us eventually we're going to take out the advanced dock computer and the hyper uh, super cruise assist they're nice to have but not really necessary ship restraints withdrawn departure authorized also it's going to make us wait if I were piloting, I could sneak out. If uh, if you're using the auto dock, it's going to you know wait patiently while this Type Six next to us goes first. Oh, let's actually peel back. It's got the rotating engines on the side. Just as a side note, peel back is a beautiful ship. One day we'll have one. Not today. Not actually any time this month. Uh, we're going to spend some time in our little sidewinder. One of the cool things about this is that each ship has something that it's good at. Each ship has its own character and personality and you know, its general feeling. Um, you know, each one makes its own sounds and its own cockpit views, like all, all kinds of things that make each one its own unique thing. And it's not like you know, the Sidewinder is a terrible ship. I mean, it's not the best ship. It's, it's, it's the ship you get for free when you start. It's not the best. But it is an entirely viable ship nonetheless, as long as you don't mind a very small, cramped little ship. So unlike a lot of games where, you know, you'll get something that's uh, given to you at the very beginning, you'll use it extremely briefly and then throw it in the garbage and never use it again, you can actually get a lot of use out of your door with the soft winder. again the capital system and we're just going to go down sequentially so uh, Demiri uh, prospect is 300 light years or light seconds sorry from where we are lost dock is only 600 uh, or 62 
Alright, let's see if there's a cyst. Let's see, it's down here, just a little window here. Throttle up to blue. And now we're in Super Cruise Assist. Of the two, probably the Super Cruise Assist is going to be the one that goes first. It's not especially difficult to plot your own route through Super Cruise. Um, and it's not especially difficult to run both throttle down before you crash into a star. Um, so, uh, it much for us is the docking computer. The docking computer <laughs> is doing more of the heavy lifting for Super Cruise. Basically, the rule of thumb is when your destination is estimated 7 seconds away, just leave it at that speed, which is usually down towards the bottom half of the blue section on your throttle bar on the side. As you get closer to a gravity well, your um, frame shift drive goes progressively slower and slower and slower. So basically you just sort of ride your way in, always seven seconds away from your target, because as you get closer you also get slower. That sort of paradox of move halfway to your target, move halfway to your target, move halfway to your target, you never actually reach your target. Except that in this case we eventually will. But it's exactly seven seconds away for a very, very long time. But that's fine. And unfortunately it's dropped us out way on the wrong side of the thing. We'll do. Alright. So the deal is that the entry point is always on the side facing the primary. So in this case the primary is this planet. The side facing directly towards it is going to have the entrance. Or the, the mail slot is the, the thing for that. And it's just coming into view about now. So we're we'll throttle down to under 100. There is a speed limit of exactly 100, which is cool. And as soon as we are less than 7.5 kilometers, which is the case now, we can request docking. And it's going to tell us to slow down for auto dock. around here. All these these ships here are passenger ships. Oh, docking at 44 again. Same same spot we docked at last time. a theme here of looking at the mission board. Alright, so we're going to deliver the four that we brought and complete the mission. There you go. Yeah, so closing in on being a little bit more liked by them. Uh, lithium fish. Uh, <laughs> I can do the same one again. Four more units of green. Alright. 
total of eight units here. But first, we need to go to Commodities Market and sell. for tobacco. Alright, so we're gonna make three thousand profit per um per there we go. Alright, car capacity zero to eight. Let's take a quick look over good outfitting. What do we have in outfitting? Generators. No, still the same. Don't think we're gonna find somewhere to get a smaller shield generator where we are. That's fine. Tempting to take out that super cruise assist and put in more cargo. That would take us up to a total of eight tons of cargo. Hmm. Yeah, let's take that out. We can definitely, definitely do our own super cruise. Alright, so this is a loaned item. The Pilots Federation just gave it to us, so when we sell it, we're just giving it back to them for them to put in some other commander's ship. So we get zero credits from selling it. We basically just give it away. There we go. And Brown's Shop, Cargo Rex. Options by. I got 10 cargo. We got stocking computer. We can also take that out, honestly. I can do my own docking and undocking. So, again, sell for free. Now, the question is do we want 12 tons of cargo or do we want a fuel scoop? I think we need a fuel scoop. Honestly, there's not really a difference between these aside from just the rate that they use scoop. One is dirt cheap, one is a little bit more expensive. We've got plenty of money. Honestly, there's. Cheaping out right now, honestly. Our fuel tank is pretty small. Alright. So we're going to go back to the mission board. We're going to work you with 10 tons of cargo. We are currently empty. We have two courier missions, they don't take any cargo. So let's bring back some. Uh, actually, let's wind it down. Let's not take any more since there's a time limit on these uh, missions. Oh, uh, time left six days. Yeah, we can definitely do this within six days. It's not going to be part of this episode. Come on, Matat. They're delivering six, eight, eight units of cargo, bringing two units of cargo back. We're going to do one more here, because so we've got ten units of cargo. Collect. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. And now we're full. Perfect. So we've got a mission to come back with. Good job, not going there, good job, not going there, not doing pirates. Alright, good, good. 
Uh, we have fuel scoop now, so I'm not going to bother refueling. Don't have our super cruise assist or our docking computer, so we're going to have to do our own cruising and docking, but that's fine. And we are full, so we don't need any more cargo. Perfect. We are good to go. But I'm going to cut this episode right here. I think this is enough for just the very first taste. So basically, we've gone from Moss and Dock to Matet and then back to Moss and Dock again. And we're just going to basically keep running that same sort of route for now. And we have gone from having 1,000 credits to our name to having 53,000 credits to our name. So already we've gone up one rank in trade and made quite a bit more than we started with and we have not spent very much so a good start very good start all right all right i'm gonna end it here keep an eye out for part two